follow ground. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Philippians, the third chapter, verses 12 through 14. 
Glory to God. When you have it, you can stand on your feet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, I've been praying, y'all. I can feel the effects of prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. The 12th verse says, Now, and that I have already obtained, I am in the Amplified Bible. Yes. Now that I have already obtained, I'm sorry, not that I have already obtained it, this goal of being Christ-like, or have already been made perfect, but I actively press on so that I may take hold of that perfection for which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me his own. 13 verses, brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it my own yet. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead. I press toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. And our amen theme or topic will be coming out of that 13th verse. The latter part says, but one thing I do. I'm forgetting those things that are behind. And I'm pressing to things that are ahead. Hallelujah. Reset. Release. And get rid of the excess back. You may be seated. Hallelujah. One thing I do. Forgetting what lies behind. And reach forward. To what lies ahead. Uh -huh. I press toward the goal to win the heavenly prize yes. of upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. It is imperative, amen, to take inventory of our lives. Every now and then, some of us wait till the first of the year when we start looking over our life and taking inventory. Sometimes we have to do some soul searching. Huh? Yes. Glory to God. We got to ask ourselves some questions, some hard questions sometimes. Why do I do the things I do? Why? Do I get the attitude the way when something's happened, it just takes me into this place? Huh? Lord, you got to ask yourself a question. Women, what am I doing? Why do I allow people to treat me the way they treat me? Huh? Why do I think I deserve to be treated in that way? Lord, you got to ask yourself some questions sometimes. Amen. And then you have to take assessment of your relationships. Huh? First of all, in the most important one, you got to, amen, amen, take assessment of your relationship with God. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? yeah. Where, what, what is God to you? Yeah. How important is God in your life? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Glory to God. Then you may want to look at your family. Look at your spouse. Huh? What kind of relationship you got with your significant other? What kind of relationship you got going on with your children? Huh? Glory to God. Amen. Why 
Amen. All of these friends. Amen. Some are so-called friends. Oh, yeah. Some are frenemies. Huh? Yeah. Glory to God. Huh? But you got to take assessment yeah. of people that you have allowed into your space yeah. and into your life. Glory to God. And then you might want to look at your career and well, your job and uh, 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 your education. Why are you going taking that many classes? All right. Why, men, are you doing that and trying to get these many degrees? Right. It, uh, are you going to really do something with it right. when you get it? Come on. Come on. Huh? Are you just doing something to get a title? A name or a man are trying to a man get up on another level. Why are you doing this? Hmm? Why you keep going to that job if you don't like? Why? Why? Why you go there and complain every day? Huh? Every day you just there complain. You're not being, amen, fruitful. You're not, amen, being, amen, anything, getting in a job done. You're just sitting there complaining. So you got to assess, why am I doing this? Why do I spend money the way I spend it? Why, 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 why? I just can't seem to save and put nothing aside. Just soon as I get it, I just have to just seem like I just got to buy something. Ooh. You gotta ask yourself, what can I do better? What can I do better? Amen. Where do I need discipline? In my life. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I seen that amen. I just can't discipline all right, all right. myself. Uh -huh. You know, I say I'm gonna exercise and amen and I'm gonna lose weight. Yep, yep, I'm gonna yep, do yep. this and I'm gonna yep, do yep. that. Huh? And I might could do it for a good week, maybe even a month or so. You know, we get our contracts with the gym. Yes, we do. We have good intentions. But we just can't seem, amen, to have the discipline so we can, amen, make the goals that we know we need to make. Where can I do better? What can I do to better myself? What can I do to accomplish the goals that amen I have said. Oh, amen. And once you take assessment and you figure out what is essential mm -hmm. and what should be eliminated. Oh. Hmm? Ah, oh, we got some people just hanging on us. Amen. That sometimes we need to eliminate. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Glory to God. Huh? Amen. And once you, amen, amen. Figure out what is essential. Come on. Come on. Come on. That it is most needed. Yeah. yeah. Most needed. Can't do without this. Come on, Pastor. It's essential. Oh. Then these are the things that need to be taking your time and energy. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Instead of wasting your time on things. Amen. That's just going to fall away. Mm -mm. And it is not even imperative to reach your goal. Oh, Lord, help me. Look at your name and say release. Who we got to declutter our life. We got to learn how to hit the delete button. We got to hit reset. We got to learn to shake some stuff loose. We got to learn how to dig ourselves out from under some stuff. Huh? Glory to God. We got to learn how to lay some stuff aside. Huh? Cast it off. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It said, lay aside that every week and sin that so easily besets you. 
Lord have me. St. John 10 and 10 says, Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come. I come. I come. That you might have life. And have it more abundantly. Woo. I don't know about you, but that makes me happy right there. Abundant love. More than enough. Running over. Giving to somebody else. Deny, amen. I'll suffer some things. Amen. Glory to God, amen. And amen, yes, we won't deny that things can happen in our life. Amen. And some of us has been through some horrific things, amen. terrible things, yeah. huh? And some of the things that you went through was by your own hand. You did it to yourself. Huh? And then some things you had nothing to do with. Huh? You couldn't help who family you were in. You couldn't help who your daddy was. Your mama. You couldn't help these things. Some people afflicted you. Amen, amen. And, and it was nothing you had to do with. Glory to God, huh? But these things have affected you. Yeah. Amen. Glory. Amen. They have altered your life. That situation, that, 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 that thing that happened altered your entire life. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff that we go through, we think we're going through something. And we can listen to somebody else's testimony. And we say, Lord, have mercy. I have nothing to complain about. Huh? But we've been through trauma, some of us. We've been through betrayal. We've experienced hurt. All oh, that, amen, shook the core of our being. We have failed. Oh my God, disappointed ourselves yeah. to the place we're living in guilt, shame, embarrassed, huh? Amen, self-inflicted wounds, amen, and you can't seem to get past that thing, huh? Glory to God, you keep rehearsing it over and over in your mind. You get up in the morning, it's there. All day at work along your way, that thing is still talking to you. Huh? Glory to God, get ready to go to bed at night. There it go again. Can't even sleep. Because your mind just keeps thinking about what happened to you. What you've been through. What they did to you. What you did to yourself. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Guilt is eating you up oh. inside. Uh -huh. It consumes you. Some of us talk about it, talk about it. I just got to talk about it. Everybody we meet, we just got to tell them what happened. Tell them how they did you. Tell them, amen. Because you want them, amen, to know how you hurt. And you actually want that person, amen, to hurt, amen, like they hurt you. But if you keep feeding stuff, you keep watering stuff, you keep talking about it. It ain't gonna never die. Lord, am I helping somebody? Look at your neighbor and say, Release! Ah, the enemy is vexing your mind. He's tormenting you day and night, week after week. Glory to God. Amen. And you find yourself 
stuck in that place for years. Right there where you got betrayed at. Right there where they walked out on you at. Right there where that person died. Right there at your loss. Hallelujah. You're stuck. Amen. For years. Amen. Hard to move forward. Can't even go backwards. Can't see your way out of it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hard to move forward. Glory to God. Amen. And you've been suppressing it. Amen. You know how you suppress stuff. Amen. You shouting and dancing. And you telling everybody you're free. But on the inside, you're just holding it down. Trying to hide it. Hallelujah. And I told them the other day, Amen. When you suppress something, hallelujah, it's just like a basketball with all the air in it. And you try to, amen, put it down under the water. And you hold that basketball down. And as long as you holding it down, it can stay down. Amen. But soon, amen, as you let it go, that ball chunks back up. Why? Because it's Amen. Amen. Why? Because something's still alive down on the inside of you. Say it. But I come to tell you all tonight, you need to release, release, release. Say trying to control because y'all know you can control some stuff amen for a while huh amen you can keep yourself under control but soon as something comes along and it triggers that thing oh no that'll let you know it ain't gone nowhere see ya Here, girl. Ain't go nowhere. Say up. And when you got these things, it causes emotional baggage. All right, all right. Amen. And this emotional baggage can result in bad health. Oh yeah. It can amen have stress in your life. Thank you. Some y'all, you can feel the. Oh, yeah. Stressing your shoulder yes, yeah. at that job that you don't like. Yeah. Yeah. And all that stuff coming at you. Yeah. And your shoulders getting stressed out. Yeah. You feel the pain. Yeah. Wish somebody would just massage that oh, muscle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anxiety. Yeah. Hallelujah. This stuff will cause sickness and disease in your body. It'll cause you to eat too much, and then it'll cause you to lose your appetite. Say yes. Emotional damage cause you to have mood swings. You cussing and don't even know why. You frustrated and don't know why. Say yes. Shout yes. Just ask 
asked a question. Man, I just asked you a question. It ain't got to be sarcastic. Huh? Glory to God. When the person is sarcastic, it's something down on the inside. Some insecurity somewhere. Huh? They're trying to act like they something and they're not. And they know they're not. Emotional, emotional baggage will cause you to make some bad decisions. You can't think straight. You ain't got good judgment. Huh? You spending it on you ain't got to spend. You buying cars and buying homes trying to amen, keep up with somebody else. Bad judgment. Hallelujah. Malice. Envy, strife, baggage, mm. cause you to be unfaithful, can't be true to nobody, not even true to yourself, it's bad when you lie to your own self, huh? Lord have mercy, amen, and you know when you've been hurt and you've been disappointed, amen, you've been betrayed. I'm getting in this spot and I got this wall built around me and I ain't letting nobody in here cause ain't nobody gonna hurt me like that again say yeah anybody ever been hurt until you talk crazy say yeah shout yeah all men knows ain't that what we say when we get hurt Yeah. 
storm comes up. Amen. And all of a sudden, amen, they tell us when the screen freezes up. Huh? Right there where they were talking. Right in the middle of the jump. Freeze. Huh? Glory to God, you sitting there like trying to move forward. Yeah. Trying to see what's going to happen uh -huh. next. Amen. amen. But it says, amen, the internet. Yeah. Amen. It's not any connection. That's right. Say yes. Somebody is not connected to the source. Say yes. I don't care how much you delete or how much you push the button. Even the computers, they'll stop freezing up. And you see that little circle, ha, just buffering, ha, just buffering. Ha, glory to God, ha, amen, your patience is getting short. Ha, you're trying to hit the button, ha, and it won't do nothing. Ha, but sometimes, ha, sometimes, ha, you got to go ha, and disconnect it. Ha, amen, out of it, amen. Ha, amen, the plug, ha, so it can reset. Reacting to issues. 
They may walk around fatigued and tired. Yeah. Amen. They may can't sleep, can't get no rest. No Amen. Depressed. So you don't want to get outside. You don't want to function with people. You just want to stay in the house and be by yourself. You don't even want to talk on the phone no more. Say yes. Keep the curtains pulled. I don't even want the sunlight to come in. Oh, Lord. Say yes. But you got to free yourself. You got to learn to let go. You got to learn to put it on the altar and leave it there. And went up there 
SP could have been one of the bishops somewhere. And I slowed down. And they said, oh, Evangelist Wilson, I was in front of you the other day. I was like, oh, Lord. Huh? So you got to keep yourself positive. Every time the devil brings ugly, negative stuff to your mind, tell you to do something that's out of character, amen, you got to say, no. That's right. Not going to How good he look. I can't go. I'm married. I'm in the house. I'm talking because some of our church folk, they sneaking around just as much as the world folk here. They go on with the diggers. They go on with the ushers. They go on with the missionary. They go on with the secretary. Everybody's sneaking around. You the find in the world. But if they been I better leave that alone. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, release, release, yeah, yeah. God said, thou shalt not come. Don't you desire that man's, amen, wife? Stop going after that man's husband. Y'all know y'all talk crazy. Release! Let it go! Stop it all! Goodbye! I ain't picking up! 
Lord have mercy.
But I'm glad we're in here tonight. Yeah. I, the devil thought he had me. But I got a way. I got a way. Say it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. I'm going to touch and agree with you.
free yourself. Free your mind. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. Let it go. You got my son Check up on Sunday. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Break that chain. Break that yoke. In the name of Jesus.